Puff Stitch Check is a 16 row pattern. It is available as a free download on our website. Although Puff Stitch Check is a 16 row pattern, it's really quite simple. You can see from the picture here how it's just done in blocks of stocking stitch and reverse stocking stitch. It is the reverse stocking stitch that gives this check its puff because we've got double sized stitches in all the reverse stocking stitch areas. Double yarn overs create the puff in this stitch. Here's how you do it. Insert the right hand needle into the next stitch knitwise, wrapping the yarn around the needle twice, then complete the knit stitch. It sits in between purl stitches. The double yarn over is done twice, then there's a knit stitch by itself, a normal knit stitch, then another double yarn over twice. This is row one. Purl six. We're beginning a new set of checks. Three, four, five, six. Now we do the double yarn over twice. So insert the needle to knit, wrap it twice and then knit it off. And we do two of them. Then one ordinary knit, then two more of the double yarn over. Now it's five pearls. We only had six before because it was the edge. Here's some more double yarn overs. One, two, then a plain knit, then two more double yarn overs. And this is the end of my row, so it's purl six. Row two, knit six, purl five, dropping the extra loops. So purl and take both of them off. Two, three, was just an ordinary one. Four, drop both of them off, five. Now just hold your work and just give it a little stretch just so it evens out so that one, the third one that was in the middle that was an ordinary stitch not a double yarn one, it gets a little bit of the looseness given to it by its neighbours. So we knit another five and we purl again, dropping the spare loop. Two, three, four, five. And just give them a little even out. And knit six to finish the row. For the rows three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we just repeat the previous two rows. So this is back to row one, purl six, and we do the double yarn over. Double yarn over once, double yarn over twice. Now in the original pattern, all five of these stitches had the double yarn over, but when I worked it, the stitches were so loose and floppy that I didn't think they matched the rest of the blanket patterns. They were too loose and blousy. So I've just put one ordinary knit on the third stitch, the middle stitch. It has to steal a little bit of extra yarn from its neighbours. And row four is the same as row two. Start with the six knit stitches. Now purl, taking the spare loop off, two, three, four, five and just give them a little tug so they all get to be nice and even and continue on. I've just finished row eight. That completed that band of checks. In row nine you start with purl one on the edge, 
then do your double yarn overs here so that to make the loose stitches so it'll start with one purl and it'll finish one purl they're just offset of course now with these if you'd like to make them a bit looser a bit more blousy do all five stitches with the double yarn over puff stitch check is a wonderfully dramatic in your face type of textured stitch here is block P in the textured sampler blanket and here is where I used the puff stick check a lovely contrast with the smoothness of this very fine one here and the zigzag undulations of the, zig of the chevron remember the free pattern is available to download from our website Thank you for watching and happy knitting.